3D box. That's awesome. That's almost worth it just for that, to go check out all this box art, especially if you're a collector. That's so awesome. It's-a me, let's -a go. Today, we've got a LaunchBox build, a small one, coming in at 60 gigabytes, small little download, and uh, 60 systems, 20,000 games you can see on the left side here. You can use it with the free version of LaunchBox, or you can get LaunchBox and do big box, like you see right here. You can discover games from the 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s. This is a extra retro one for you all. Something I don't normally review. Typically, I'm in the, you know, Sega Genesis and then upwards of PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. Well, this one has no PlayStation, no PSP, no PlayStation. We're talking Commodore, Amiga, uh, Nintendo, Famicom, etc. So if you're into the older, older retro gaming, this one might be for you. Could be a good build uh, for those of you that like this 1970s, late 70s, 80s, 90s, but also those of you want want to just back all this stuff up, have archives of it, um, or uh, you want like a jump off point, like a launch box that's almost set up, but um, it's a nice little starting point. Now, everything runs on RetroArch on this build, so it makes it super easy to use. Um, so let's go ahead. I'll show share with you the file sizes. We'll go through the different systems, see what games are on here, and then we'll play some games, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into it. All right, so as far as file sizes, it's a 56.3 gigabyte download at 60 billion bytes. And then um, once you get it all extracted, it, it, it's just under, it's around 60 gigabytes at 64, almost 0.5 billion bytes. So small, small build here. You have LaunchBox. Big box, it looks like it's not cracked, which I appreciate that. You should go support LaunchBox. It should tell me here, you need to go buy LaunchBox as I load this up. Big box. All right, so you can see I'm on the free version, so not all the features are unlocked. You don't have a uh, big box, but you can easily buy it, and I highly recommend supporting LaunchBox. It's a great software. That being said, it has 20,520 games total, and you can see the systems here, 59. 60. Oh, I think it even says that on the, I'm so dumb. It says it right there. No intro, 60 retro systems. <laughs> oh man, don't you love it? All right, uh, Amstrad CPC. So a lot of this stuff, I don't really play these older kind of PC style retro games, but a lot. some people love it. So I like to cover it. Um, and if you have some suggestions for me, some games you grew up with that I need to check out, let me know in the comments below. You got the Ataris, all of them. Even the portables here. You got the Bally, Astrocade, Casio. <laughs> so random. Then you have Coleco, Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga. Let's go through the game counts here. So 2,800 games here. 25 games here. Atari, six, all the Atari games. All the Atari, only 70, 50, 200. 59, 70, 100. Jaguar, 55. This was a cool system. Love the artwork on this system as well. Really cool. Atari Lynx, 71. Astrocade, 48. Casio, as you see, only about five. Coleco, 140, pretty much all of them. Commodore 64, 1600. Amiga, 2150. That's a lot of games. And I know there's a, I know Amiga is a great system. Alien Breed, really good game. Uh, Lemmings, Aliens, like a lot of really, uh, Arkanoid, so much fun stuff on there. Commodore Plus 4, 10. Commodore VIC-20, 213. Arcadia, 55. 3D Bowling. Oh, wow. Look at the artwork on the right there. Uh, we got 55 games in the Emerson. For the Super Cassette Vision, 23. I, honestly, I just like looking at all this box art. Pretty cool. Uh, that was uh, 30 games, 9 games on the Super here. Game Park, GP32. So a lot of these Japanese games. This one says uh, Game Boy Advance. So I guess that's their um, version of the Game Boy Advance, the Game Park GP32, or in that era. Uh, GCE, Vectrix, 37. Game Master, 12. Odyssey 2, 110. Mattel, Super Intellivision, 141. MSX 600, MSX2, 150, MSX2 Plus, 24. PC Engine, really fun system here. If you like Nintendo, check out PC Engine, 159. 
Super Graphics 5, the same 5 you see in most builds. Turbo Graphics 16, 694. Now, Nintendo 64 DD, this is so interesting. They included Nintendo 64 DD, but they didn't include just regular Nintendo 64. Like, that to me is just a missed opportunity. Uh, let me, am I reading this right? Yeah. So, no, that's, I think they should have put Nintendo 64 on this build because it's not a huge library, but whatever. That sucks. So you're going to have to add your own Nintendo 64. Nintendo DS 64 games, only half of them have the artwork. But it uh, looks like you are going to get Pearl and Diamond. You're going to get the Marios and the Zeldas, the Wario Wear, um, Metroid. And then looks like you have uh, Mario Kart on here, Tony Hawk, Sonic Rush, Animal Crossing. So you do have the heavy hitters on the Nintendo DS. NES, all of them, all almost 800 of them. And then Nintendo Famicom 300, Famicom Disc 269, Game Boy 561, so that's pretty much all of them for Game Boy. Game Boy Advance 1100, so that's pretty much all of them. Looks like you got some good box art there. And then Game Boy Color 533, pretty much all of them. Pokemon Minis, so you got that. Uh, Satellaview, you got 67. Sufami Turbo, so those are uh, 17, and actually you have to go all the way down here, I'm going to skip a bunch to go to Super Nintendo, and it does have the entire Super Nintendo library, it's just under Super Nintendo instead of just Nintendo Entertainment System, so the way that these are sorted right now, Nintendo goes down there, you can resort them if you want, so back to um, where we were, we were at Virtual Boy, 28, Video Pack, 27, Video Pack Plus, 32, 32X, 33, Sega Genesis, all of them, Sega Mark 3, 68, Sega Master System, most of them, Sega Pico, 320, SG-1000, 100, ZX Sinclair, 4,000 games. There's one where you're stuffing a lot of games. Neo Geo, 153, pretty much all of them. Neo Geo Pocket and Pocket Color, about 100 between the two. We already did Super Nintendo. Tiger Game. Wow. Look at that. Look at the graphics on there. I remember I had that. I had the Mortal Kombat Trilogy Tiger. But uh, these are those portable games. I actually have behind me, I have the Summer Olympics. It's not even on here. Sonic Jam. I mean, to me, yeah, look at it go. <laughs> so you do get 22 of those. VTech, you got 17. Supervision, you got 63. Wonder Swan, 110. And then Color, 90. So for me, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, this is a great gateway into those older systems. I mean, what years were these? I always forget. So 84, 1990. So this is 1977 on Atari 2600. Casio was 95. Commodore 64 was 82. So late 70s, a lot of 80s and some 90s are the eras as far as what you're going to find on this build. So here we are in big box. And so, for example, we go to Atari Jaguar. And this is way cooler front end, am I right? Like, look at this go. So much, so pretty. And uh, very interactive. It's like a complete arcade system. Really nice front end here. Looks like it's missing a graphics for MSX2. But, uh, for example, NES. Look at that. Pretty cool. And then uh, I think you hit select or start on your controller. or the. Okay, yeah, you can jump around with your trigger buttons. And then B, back, select, which is your... Oh, here we go. You can change the views. Oh, wow, you can even move the box around. I did not know you could do that. Uh, let's go ahead and go back out of this. Oh, I just clicked on it. Okay, yeah, Nintendo. And then look, with your analog stick, you can move the box. I did not know you could do that. That's pretty cool. A 3D box. That's awesome. That's almost worth it just for that. To go check out all this box art. Especially if you're a collector. That's so awesome. Another reason for emulation. Okay. Uh, so launch box works really well. Um, I guess we go back, back to the main menu here. You can download more themes. You can do a search for a particular game. You can set it up any way you want. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller right now. It controls everything. And uh, you can just launch a game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play some games. All right, so let's play a little Atari. Here we go, Aliens. It's kind of like Pac-Man. I know back then a lot of the games 
even the E.T. game was initially supposed to be like a Pac-Man-like game. It was just uh, really popular back then. So a lot of gaming history here. Uh, here we have Tetris for, I think it's a, it's one of the Game Boys. Um, and it's running really good. Tetris. Uh, check out this move right here. Look at that. Boom. I didn't know you could even do that. I didn't know that was a legal move to get it fit there. Uh, and then we have some uh, Nintendo DS as well. And um, yeah, at, at most things worked. I did find Tiger, doc, Tiger did not work. Uh, the emulator was not set up for that yet. But all you have to do is go into LaunchBox, go to settings, go to emulators, and then add the platforms on there. And then it worked no problem. Uh, my capture card was a little weird here. It works just fine. Uh, Joe and Mac, um, not an issue at all. It's just my capture card was the screen was capturing it a little to the upper left, not the lower right. Same thing with, we got another ta Atari here, Atari Jaguar. Um, but anyways, the build, it's small, it's tiny. Um, it I did, was a little unfortunate that some of the older systems like Tiger did not work, but uh, even Pokemon Minis worked, all the other stuff worked. It was just like a couple of systems. So out of the 60 systems, you know, 57 of them worked just fine. Um, there's not a huge arcade set on here. You really only got Neo Geo, so that might be a deal breaker for some people. But um, like I said, for a jumping off point to have Retro Arch all set up and Launch Box, and you just you know throw it on here, you can easily update Launch Box, and then it's uh, ready to go. So you know, some people are gonna love this one. Some people they're gonna want something different. But that's what I think. Let me know what I think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.